So today we're looking at just how effective is the first dose of the COVID vaccine. Now, south of the border in the U.S., millions have missed their second appointment. And tonight, here in Canada, doctors are warning the public not to have a false sense of security following your first jab. One vaccine uh, is certainly not enough to give the protection that we need. Dr. Hassan Mazri is an ICU physician. He's had COVID patients arrive in his GTA-based hospital five days after receiving the first dose of the COVID vaccine. That tells me that either they've been uh, exposed to it before, the, before they received the vaccine uh, or potentially uh, they lowered their guard down. Certainly for the first two weeks after receiving the vaccine, we have to be extremely careful. Dr. Masri notes that he hasn't had any COVID patients end up in his ICU more than two weeks after receiving the first dose of a vaccine. 14 days is the benchmark for antibodies to really start working their magic to protect individuals. According to the National Advisory Committee on Immunization, human studies have shown one dose of the Pfizer and AstraZeneca vaccines are approximately 80% effective against hospitalization. Public health measures are important. We need to communicate them properly to our fellow citizens. Certainly, we don't want to diminish the effectiveness of one dose of the vaccine. We have not seen that many cases of people who have received the vaccine landing in our hospital. That's obviously great news. Though Public Health Ontario tells City News in an email that they're monitoring for breakthrough COVID-19 infections among people who have been vaccinated, looking at infections as well as severity. The data is still being gathered and analyzed, and we plan to release a report with this information in the coming weeks. Researchers from Cornell University and Boston Children's Hospital surveyed more than 1,000 Americans in February and found that 20% believed they were adequately protected from COVID-19 following just one dose of a two-dose vaccine. Dr. Masri believes it's important to remind the public that we're not adequately vaccinated until we've received both doses. It certainly could become a real big problem uh, when we as a nation in Canada or in the U.S. trying to achieve herd immunity. And people have to understand that just because someone is eligible for to receive the vaccine, it does not mean that most of our population is going to be vaccinated by end of the end of May or the end of June. And so ultimately, when everyone has received their two shots or two doses, uh, the vaccine, we will have significant return of normal. Now, Public Health Ontario believes from what we know thus far, it will take anywhere from 56 to 89 percent of the population to be fully vaccinated before we reach herd immunity.